a while, but I thought, why not check in on our favorite Disney villain, Supermare? Because as all these weeks and months go by, the cracks get bigger and the empire is falling. And you know, there's really nothing significant to talk about because yes, people are suing, people are speaking out against her, but these are all things that we already knew. It's significantly different when people who are on her side originally are cooperating with the people who are against her to try to bring her down and it is a little bit interesting that we know about all of this frivolous spending going around when she was interviewed and she had that nice little dick look on her face being shocked that somebody would ask her about all these things because clearly she's being investigated for all of the frivolous spending and not really doing anything to better the community. You make almost $300,000 between your two elected I positions. Not. I do not. I don't know where you got that number from. I don't do anything as it relates to with credit cards. As you heard me speak today in my board meeting about, I do not handle that. Some of those charges are for you, though. No, sir. You didn't go to Las Vegas? Mm. What, what is that? No comment. You don't know if you were in Las Vegas? Of course I do. Were you? It's not paid by them. She now has her credit cards frozen. A close aide to Mayor Tiffany Henyard is cooperating with her opponents, and the mayor has now been stripped of at least some power in the form of access to village money. Because, you know, you throw a lot of things up here that don't be true. Mayor Tiffany Henyard's grip on the reins of Dalton is loosening. At last night's meeting, the Board of Trustees voted to freeze spending on village credit cards, limiting expenses to those approved by the board. That, that was the main goal. Uh, to cut off her access and all other operators in the municipality. Uh, I have to be careful choosing my words here. I've never seen any municipality have so many credit cards out there. Orders of going out to eat is mind-boggling. The, the trips, um, the shopping, uh, going to Target and spending $300, $500, $600, you know, even dollar amounts, uh, it would seem it seems very fishy, and it looks like gift cards were purchased. And board attorney Michael McGrath says that snapshot of just five or six months of spending was revealed in the last couple of weeks by Henyard's top aide, Keith Freeman, who's now cooperating with the board. He pleaded not guilty to a federal bankruptcy charge and is considered by some trustees to be a potential whistleblower. Is there a motion to terminate Keith Freeman? Henyard announced his termination last night, though the board insists Freeman is still the village administrator. The mayor rarely talks to reporters, and she let the defense attorney she's retained do most of the talking with WGN News. He says Freeman put Henyard's safety at risk by removing her security detail. Under the law, he's out when she says he's out. How, how is he putting you at risk? He just asked for that. Is it that there's speculation that prosecutors are putting pressure on him to cooperate with their investigation into you? No, we're talking about the removal of security detail. This isn't the first time Henyard's safety has taken center stage. The acting police chief, Lewis Lacey, has implemented capacity limits and metal detectors in the board meeting room. And just last night, he made everyone walk back through those machines after the meeting had already started. The board placed him on paid administrative leave pending an investigation into his alleged mishandling of the department. Uh, we requested that he turn in all village equipment by the end of today. And if he doesn't, uh, we'll seek a court order to enforce the administrative leave. And my only question I have to ask is, why wasn't anybody aware of the multiple credit cards being used? And why was nobody looking at any of the transactions on these credit cards? Because if I were a mayor, I would think if I was going to use money, I would use it to build some roads, maybe build a community for the young people to go to so that they have somewhere to go so to keep them off the streets. I wouldn't be going to Target to get me some fucking Starbucks and one of those stupid ass Stanley Cups. It's not something that I would think would lead to people looking at me and saying, ah, what a competent leader who cares about society and our community. It would have them think this motherfucker just wanted a position of power to get some shit for free. And I am so glad that we're coming upon the end of this. It's been too long speaking about this woman. And I am now at the point where I just want a comedic cartoon of her getting kicked out of the mayor's seat. I would just love to see everyone cheer and celebrate 
dance, party, pop champagne, get a little bit of kinky sex time going, all over the fact that this incompetent bastard is finally out of a position of power. It needs to be done. And I am still trying to find campaign videos from this woman before she got voted into that position. I want to know what she was saying and what she was promising to a bunch of people because I need to know how stupid the community truly is because I feel bad, but then I also don't feel bad because you voted this motherfucker in and then once you realize after a couple months, maybe a couple years, that this is somebody who is not good at that job, I just want to know what she sold these people to convince them to vote for her because clearly that was a bad investment, but I am at least glad at some point this is coming to a fucking end and I hope she never ever, 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 ever is in a position of power again because this shit is fucking abysmal. But actually, hold all thoughts. I recorded this Thursday in the morning and what I didn't know was that Thursday in the evening, I would get more information. You remember when Lori Lightfoot, that six-headed gremlin, was tasked with investigating all the financial issues and probably more issues regarding Supermare and we all kind of joked that nothing would be done? I think we all owe little old Lori Lightfoot a little bit of an apology. In a jaw-dropping meeting on Thursday night, former Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot presented initial findings from her investigation into Super Mayor's dire financial situation. The bombshell report delved into the spending habits of Tiffany Henyard and her alleged misuse of taxpayer dollars, highlighting just how much financial trouble the village is in. The findings were stunning to many community members with audible gasps from the audience as Lightfoot revealed Dalton's funds have been declining under Henyard's leadership. She was elected as the mayor in 2021. Lightfoot stated that in April of 2022, Dalton's general fund balance was $5.61 million. By May, the balance had dropped to a deficit of $3.65 million. The presentation detailed credit card transactions amounting to thousands of dollars and Lightfoot said millions are owed to vendors. Across the village six credit cards that Lightfoot's team is aware of the receipts for purchases are rarely provided. Lightfoot disclosed that the village credit cards have been used to make purchases at Amazon, Target, Walgreens, for some fucking reason Wayfair, and other retailers. If you shop at Wayfair just know I also shop at Wayfair. Notably one purchase on Amazon amounted to 33000 and five dollars on january 5th of 2023 that same day two more purchases were made on the site one for four thousand seven hundred and fifteen dollars and another for five thousand and six hundred and nine dollars and ninety two cents what a slap in the face to everybody that resides in the 60419 zip code another significant purchase noted in lightfoot's report was made on september 1st of 2023 for seven thousand six hundred and ninety nine dollars and 99 cents on fucking wayfair.com let me just say even though i shop at wayfair if you shop at wayfair and you spending seven thousand dollars i just know your furniture is made out of piss vinegar and rat hair i know how i felt when i started seeing these numbers so i can imagine how all of you are feeling after all this time being in the dark community members also learned that as of june 18th of 2024 at least 589 checks amounting to over 6 million were approved and printed but never sent to vendors. Here's the proof for everyone to see and even the ones who doubt us, if you don't see through this, there is nothing I can say to you. And you know what's funny about this is that I don't know if it was a compilation or if it was just one meeting in particular, but do you remember this woman was telling everybody who was criticizing her to prove it? She was daring people to prove it. Right now we are bleeding. This village is bleeding. If these residents knew the truth, they'd hit the roof. Okay, you are on. You need to remove us. Remove us. So you got us into this mess, and now we're trying to salvage what we can to get out. People that say things about me, I want you to prove it. Because, like I said, fact versus fiction. Didn't know them. Uh, a lot of my, my board members, they didn't know them either. Our biggest fear is that she's going to use them for her criminal defense attorney and that the village is going to pay for it. Why are you having a federal criminal lawyer sit next to you at a village board meeting? 
I mean, all I can say is, really? We have a lot of experience in Chicago that happens quite frequently that politicians get indicted. But they don't have the municipality that they work for pay for their criminal defense. Keith Freeman is fired from the village of Dalton. He no longer works <laughs> here the village of Dalton. We all laugh at the video of her, y'all black, and how dare you, and blah, 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 blah. But she was daring people to look into this to find something. She was on camera trying to say, hey, I got proof that I'm innocent, but the only way you gonna figure it out is if you listen to my podcast on Spotify. Super Mayor Tiffany A. Henry, the people's mayor. So I heard you guys were looking for me. If you looking for Tiffany Henry, press the subscribe button. Yes, you, press the subscribe button. So what do you want me to talk about? This or that, this and that, or me? Tiffany A. Henry, you pick. Put your questions in the comments, and I'm going to answer all questions. Just be respectful. If you disrespectful, I'm not going to answer it. Because remember, I got the tea with the receipts. Matter of fact, if you want the tea, get it from me. <laughs> Go tell that. And this bitch had the nerve to think she was untouchable. In another shocking revelation, the investigation found that two police officers received overtime pay exceeding their annual salaries. One officer's salary for the fiscal year of 2024 was $87,295, yet the officer received $114,000 in overtime pay. The second officer, with a salary of $73,000, $1,550 received $102,077 of overtime pay. Before, boy, all that defunding the police shit, I think people would hate her. Before Lightfoot made her findings public, sources had told Fox 32 that the village of Dalton was reportedly millions of dollars in debt and potentially struggling to make payroll in the coming weeks. The details of the report left community members infuriated. My reaction was, I am devastated. I'm devastated that this woman came into our town, spent all of our tax money. We have senior citizens that can't even afford basic necessities. I suspected it all along. Tiffany needs to be locked up. She needs to be made an example out of that she cannot go around using our money and spending it however she wants to spend it. Like the job comes with a cash register. Henyard was a no-show, of course she was, at Thursday's meeting and attorneys for village trustees announced that she has changed the locks at the village hall once again. Lock this bitch up! Now, I'm sorry. Like, I know a lot of you don't like my profanity, but tough shit. Lock her up because ain't no way somebody could come into a position of power and abuse it to this degree and don't face no consequence. She dared motherfuckers to prove this. She dared people to come in here and try to debunk anything that she was actually competent at her job. And Lori Lightfoot, for as many inches she got on that forehead and has many times failed the city of Chicago, I will give her one, one pat on the back for coming in and saying, hey, we got her ass. Up next, Lightfoot said that they will be examining the cross-pollinization and intermingling with Thornton Township where Henyard is the supervisor. Lightfoot said that she will also be digging deeper into travel, including two costly taxpayer-funded trips to Las Vegas, one in 2022 and another in 2023. Lightfoot, I said I was gonna give you a pat on the back, but if you could somehow prove more negligence, I'm gonna give you one more pat on the back because ain't no way in fuck is somebody like this actually good to just be around the public after this she's ruined a community she's ruined financial stability in that community and there's no way to sugarcoat that other than fire her get her out of that position take all the power from her and lock her the fuck up that's it I'm done. Subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. And also let me know, do you think she'd be, should she be fired? I know you think that, but I just wanted to be like a YouTuber.